Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another garden vlog. I'm just oh, so happy to be doing another one of these. I say that literally at the beginning of every single video. Apologies. <laughs> So today I am doing something a little crazy. I am changing the oil on my lawnmower. It's not that crazy. This is like a normal thing that people do, I guess. But I've never done this before and I did get a little bit of assistance from Dan, but I started the process yesterday where I drained the oil and I changed out the oil filter. <music> First of all, the reason that I didn't finish it yesterday is because I had a breakdown. <laughs> so a lot of people are very complimentary, which is very, very flattering. And I'm like, obviously those things make me happy to hear. But let me tell you, these things don't get done without me having like a breakdown or crying or being really upset or whatever else um, a lot of the time, because I don't know, I want it, I want this to always feel realistic so you know what you're getting into when you want to start a garden or you want to buy a piece of land or you want to own house plants or whatever. I always want to be realistic in what it's actually like. And honestly, doing everything by myself for this last like month and a half has been extremely, extremely challenging. And it just makes me realize like how much Daniel does. He has a head injury right now and he can't really do much. So while he's recovering, I've been taking care of the bulk of the stuff around the house and I've tried to have a really good attitude about it but sometimes I can get like really upset and negative and um, it just gets to me so I don't know I just want you guys to know that like I don't know changing the oil on my lawnmower to me it feels like very 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 out of my wheelhouse and um, I don't know, I was, Daniel was trying to show me how to like grease the lawnmower, like the, grease the wheels and stuff. And I just like fully had a temper tantrum because I'm just really overwhelmed with all this stuff. And so I want to be real about that. I want to be realistic that these things are hard for me. Like I grew up in the city. <laughs> I grew up living in suburbia. I've never touched a lawnmower until I moved here um, like eight or nine months ago. And yeah, there's just so many things that I've never done. I never thought I would do that I'm doing right now. And yeah, I just wanted to like reiterate the fact that if it seems like any of this is easy, like I just want you to know that it's probably not. And it's been really sad and frustrating at moments. But like when I do finish something and like accomplish something, that feeling is uncomparable really to a lot of things. Like I feel so capable after I do something that I didn't think I'd be able to do. You know, it just feels really good. I just wanted to say that before we finished this up today and mowed the lawn because we do have to mow the lawn again. It was raining a lot a couple weeks ago, as you saw, and the grass has grown and I'm actually like starting to enjoy mowing the lawn. Like it's kind of therapeutic to just like sit there and listen to something like listen to a book or listen to music and just ride along and mow the lawn and everything else. I just find it to be very satisfying, a very nice experience all around. So I'm going to do that today and then we're going to head out to the garden probably later in the week to do more stuff out there. And then, yeah, we'll just see where we go for the rest of the video. But I, you know, just wanted to have a little brief chat with you right at the beginning here. And yeah, let's pour some oil into the engine. I did watch a video just now to like remind myself how to do this because Dan is sleeping right now and I don't want to wake him up. So um, he kind of walked me through it yesterday, but I watched a video to remind myself how to do it. But all I have to do today is literally just put two quarts of oil in the engine. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome to another day of this vlog. So yesterday I mowed the lawn, got that done. 
Um, but today I have some stuff to do in the garden and we are going to finish some projects. Uh, namely putting chicken wire around the fence. I know that I have said this in like pretty much the last like three or four videos that I need to do this, but I really have to do it because things are starting to grow, which means that rabbits and other little critters and things are gonna try to get in. So I just need to get this figured out. But before I do that, I wanted to show you like an update on the plants and how everything is going because things are growing and I'm very excited. I also need to pull some plants up and like separate them and like spread them out better because I just like, for some reason in my head could not wrap my head around spreading things out. It's a mess. So here we go. I'll start up with this front one because it has the least going on. So that is a giant sunflower and so is that. Then I have a little sunflower that came up right there. These are cucumbers, which look like they're being eaten by something. I don't know what's eating it. I need to get out here with some spray or something. But that's all that's in this bed. And then this is where a lot of action is happening. These are four zucchini plants that I just happened to plant like, I don't know, 12 inches apart, which was a big mistake. So I'm going to be spreading these out. I'm gonna be moving two of them to that side of the bed and then just like spreading them out more, just slightly, because, oh, these marigolds are coming up really cute. Hopefully those will bloom for me this season. I don't know, but I do have these ones that I need to plant that are still in pots. They were on the brink of death. I thought they were gonna die, but they did not miraculously these are cantaloupe and they're still pretty small but i will probably spread them just a little bit better and then these are all my beans these are all going to stay like this because i'm trellising them um up and over into this bed so i just need to get the trellis hopefully i'll get that done this week my straws not doing anything but they are well they're they are doing something they're flowering which means that i'll probably have strawberries oh yeah there's a strawberry growing in there if you can see it so hopefully that will produce something fun pumpkins have come in and somebody suggested that i just let these grow off and over the bed and into the ground i'll probably do that and then these are my watermelon which have the coolest little leaves they look like fig leaves so fun and then this is a very very happy basil plant this one didn't look too good when I first planted it, and it has really come into its own. My tomato plant, this is like a bigger tomato variety. I think that this is what it is. <laughs> and then this is a cherry tomato, which is leaning. I need to also get a tomato cage for this one so that it can be upright. And then my lettuce and broccolis and all of that is looking really nice. So yeah, I could probably harvest some of this at some point soon but yeah that's what's going on in all the garden beds and then um if you saw my day in life video i planted these herbs basil lavender rosemary italian parsley i also need to spray for weeds because we have lots of weeds coming up in here which is annoying but it is a fact of life isn't it these things just happen. Let's get working on this chicken wire so that it can just be done and I never have to say the words chicken wire again. <laughs> Okay, so I added a chicken wire to the bottom on this half of the garden. I ran out about right here. So I'm gonna have to go back to the store and get more. Honestly, I find it kind of strange that I ran out because I bought 100 feet and I thought that the entire garden was 100 feet. Am I wrong? I don't know, I'm a little bit lost because that was only half of it. I'm currently editing this video long after this has been filmed and I actually did buy a hundred feet of chicken wire except it was in a different roll. So that roll was only 50 feet. I had another roll that was a hundred or no, no, that was another 50 feet 
in the wheelbarrow literally right next to me and for some reason I didn't think to look down. <laughs> um, I did actually need to go to the store and get 25 more feet of chicken wire so in total it was like 125 feet. Point is the chicken wire is now surrounding the entire garden. Gonna separate these zucchini now. Let's do that. Back on, and how I never left you Hello garden vlog fam. It has been a couple weeks since I have filmed for this video actually. I was going okay, here I am. And you know what? I just have been not like hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to turn on the air conditioning. Loud. I'm going out to water the garden right now. So I'm going to show you guys like what's new and everything. I have not been out in the garden really doing anything it's just kind of taken on a life of its own lately like nothing is really okay okay a lot has happened and I'm gonna show you like a little garden tour this is not like an official garden tour by any means because there's still some things that I'm doing and like working on I'm so out of breath I've been like outside working not outside working I've been outside like all day but anyway <sighs> the cicadas are super loud I hope that that's not the most annoying thing ever it probably is. But the garden has just grown so incredibly much and I wanna document this moment because I came out here the other day and I saw zucchini growing, which is so exciting. Like if you guys thought I was excited about the seeds sprouting, I was like way more excited about the fruit because it actually means that like I freaking did something right. <laughs> like to produce actual life and food that I can put in my mouth, you know what I mean? So. That's what she said, but anyway, that's besides the point. Okay, I'm pulling my my hose in. Some people have asked me how I water everything because my house is like not very close to the garden. A really freaking long hose, <laughs> that is how I do it. But okay, let me just show you around. Um, yeah, this is exciting. My beans have some flowers on them, which I really need to get a trellis for my beans. I still haven't done that. Yikes. Also, I'm wearing Wild Fern merch. I got a, like, I think like a large or an extra large because I wanted it to be extra oversized. I'm literally like a black blob right now. My hair is dark. My clothes are dark. My garden is green. <laughs> okay, okay. Look. Look at this. Oh my mercy. Okay, hold on. I don't want Daniel to like... Daniel might be concerned about me after that, like, freak out. Okay, okay, I don't know how to show this to you without, like, getting stabbed. Because if you know zucchini, you know that they're, like, violent. Anyway, look! One, two, three! We've done it, folks! If anything, oh, hi. If anything, I have grown zucchini this year, which I know is basically, like, the easiest vegetable to grow, but I did it, and... I'm gonna have zucchini all summer. <laughs> so, um, let's see what else is going on in here. This is marigold. It's like doing its best to rise above the freaking zucchini. This bed is like really packed. Let me just like quickly show you. It's very packed. These are my beans. They're looking for something to climb onto. So that's something that I need to do. Um, something is eating my stuff. So that'll be what we talk about this time. <gasps> Look, I just found one of them. Yeah, that's eating my stuff. Anyway, if you have any tips for some pest control, I'm definitely gonna be doing some research and like Googling because I knew that this would happen, but I kind of wanted to see like what it would be like before I did that because I don't want to come out here with like a bunch of chemicals and stuff. This is my microphone, by the way. I don't want to come out here with like a bunch of chemicals and stuff if I don't have to, but I think that there's some like natural methods for like pest control. So I'm gonna look into that, but this is my cantaloupe. We do have some blooms in there, which is super exciting. Um, this is all beans. Like this whole zone is beans. These are marigolds again. They haven't bloomed yet, but they're just like living their foliage life, their best foliage life. These are those zucchinis that I moved and they did not like me for that. They were like, why did you just do this to us? So they got like 
stunted a little bit with their growth. Like they're clearly much smaller than those two. Like they were these like this size and then they lost like a bunch of leaves, but they do be bouncing back. My strawberries are just like horrendous. It just didn't work. I'm gonna try again next year. <laughs> <laughs> These are my pumpkins and I shared on Instagram how one of my pumpkins has variegation on it and it's not like on the leaf like on top of the leaf that's like in the leaf that's like what the leaf looks like so let me know like am I rich <laughs> just kidding but yeah that was really cute so I'm excited to see my pumpkins growing in four of the or all of them came up I think I planted six all of them did come up but these two are definitely like the strongest of the bunch. And then my watermelon is, sorry, I hit a button, but this is definitely my favorite foliage in the garden. Like it is just popping off so pretty. I left this area like pretty blank because I just wanted it to kind of like go off. So we'll just see what happens in here, honestly. And then this is a cherry tomato that is just like a blob. It really needs a cage or like a trellis of some sort because look at these cutie babies. I'm so excited to eat you. Yes. <laughs> and then this tomato plant has like a bunch of blooms. That is looking like something if I do say so myself. But anyway, sorry, it's a little bit dark. I literally could not come out here until it was, wait, am I zoomed in? I could not come out here until it was dark or like sunset because it was so freaking hot it was like 95 degrees super humid as well so that was just going to be a big no for me but okay here's where the bugs have like really hit us up and i did the thing where i planted too many of one type of plant family in the same group and they just got eaten alive so let me show this to you um i've already taken notes for next year <laughs> Okay, I swear, I promise. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've got like a, a Monstera Oblica situation here. <laughs> like, ooh, get your rare Monstera Oblica, but this is actually just like Brussels sprouts that's gonna die. So yeah, that's not good. Um, I'm gonna have to come out here with something, like a natural pesticide or something. Those, I'm pretty sure, are like, please harvest me. So we're just gonna look into that. Let me know. I think that that's definitely ready to harvest. <laughs> but yeah, this is like all in the same plant family and like they were all hit up probably by like the same family of bugs. I see some bolting going on. Like I just think that this whole thing is a bust, but it was cool to see it happen. So we'll, we'll see if anything comes of this. I'm not exactly sure. And then this situation, like somebody tell me why I planted everything in like the first one fourth of the bed and like nothing over here. Like what am I thinking? I have no idea, but this is all cucumber. And then the tall pieces are sunflowers. And I don't know if they will reach flowering stage. I really don't know because I did plant them kind of late. So we'll just have to see. I'm hoping they do, but if they don't, I'm not gonna be like heartbroken. But yeah, this is all cucumber and I think I'm gonna like push it so that it grows like across the bed so that that's not like blank but I am still gonna try to get a trellis to like go from here over to here so that my beans can like grow and stuff hold on my hair what is going on this is what what it's like growing out your bangs and then of course I have my herbs hung up that one over there that I hung up that I like was not sure if it was gonna be okay it has not fallen down but I did purchase different hooks because I was concerned. So I'm gonna be putting those up at a later time so that I can hang up these ones over here. Probably this week, I don't know. I really wanted to get this vlog out because I didn't want to skip more than one week, but I just haven't been doing very much if I'm honest. Like it's literally just been waiting for plants to grow. Like there's not much like to show in that, but I did ask on Instagram what you guys wanted to see like in the meantime while I'm just literally waiting for things to grow. You guys gave me some fun ideas, so I'm gonna tap into that, like for next week and the week after that and just like going forward and everything else. But I think that it's just like a little bit too warm to be doing any landscaping, like it's just really hot, if I'm honest. It's like 95 to 97 degrees for this next week. But it is gonna rain tomorrow, supposedly. And I think the garden will be happy for it. And actually that just reminded me 
I was just about to water the plants, but it's gonna rain. But I think I am still gonna give them a drink because like I didn't water them today and it's been really, really hot. So I'm just gonna go around and like see if there's any weeds and pull any weeds that I see and then, yeah. Because I have had some weeds in the beds, which I was expecting and also weeds like around in the garden. And I've just been spraying those like I'm gonna be honest I've just been spraying them with chemicals and like I don't feel bad about it because there's no food coming into contact with those weeds so yeah and it they die pretty quickly so that's that's good I guess anyway um, I'm not using chemicals in the beds at all because I'm obviously eating this food hopefully I'll get food but I'm we're gonna eat it so I don't want to put chemicals on it um, but anyway I'm just going to walk around and see what needs to be done around in the garden and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you have any ideas or tips on like natural um, pest like you know pest remedies let me know if you have any brands that you like I'm trying to go as organic as possible um, because obviously like I just said I'm going to be eating this food so I don't want to put like weird stuff in my body. Um, things that you want to see in the garden vlogs moving forward because obviously things have grown and I'm not really building as much anymore. Although I am thinking about building a workbench like to repot on and stuff. So anyway I will see you guys next week. Bye!